Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Famous for this one. Well, it's about damn time. Whoa! Spend it in your honor, boys. Got him! 
lost. I'm straight out of hospitality. Just get out of here, All right. damn it. I ain't playing. I'll shoot you right here. You really it's <laughs>
the poor. Help the poor. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I show kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry to Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> Well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, you know, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner the one with the green door? Well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Welcome back, sir. Oh, what do you have for me? Okay, let's take a look at it. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks, mister. Hey there. Excuse me, get out of my way. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Cállate, cállate. Hello. Hay alguien ahí? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Don't worry. I'm on your side. Hmm. Ayúdanos. Please. I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon.
Here, take that and come with me. I know someone who can help you. This way. How much farther? Poor bastards. Who is this man? We're free. Estamos libres, y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Hi, Cap. Welcome back. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor old brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one else will buy me a drink, I will go. Die, Dark, idiot. You. No point overworking, huh? Come on now. Giddy up. You got to yourself. Done it. Diablos.
Here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine. Just a thing. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest a fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we... You, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a Prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening, Gil. George! 
to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. So, who's the mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. Cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. you stay clear ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen! How oh, wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Feel free to join a game, sir. Take a seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, boys, I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. 
Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Come on, we haven't got all night. Raise? Call that. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Good God, are you men or mice? Interesting. They're cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe, upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play, as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Pear cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. 
Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Another gun. You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Shot. It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, look! There's your friend! Oh, uh, no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation! <clears throat> there he is! Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you! <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut! There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Look out! Morning. 
Good to see manners ain't dead. What the hell is going oh, on God. with you? Morning, mister. Well, hello. Good Please to see in. someone who ain't afraid of hard work. Working's part of life. straight down Arthur Hello Mary You came Sure Whenever you call for me I'll come uh, Oh Arthur What's wrong Daddy Your father I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know of frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. Uh, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh. The filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 